listen, I want to start by saying you did such great work in this. And this film really hit me emotionally and uh, it, it was really well done. Thank uh, you. Just want to start with that. Um, so um, I, I mentioned to people I was going to talk to you. And before I get into specific questions about the movie, I wanted to ask a question from one of our readers. I believe his name is Nick Stoller. Um, mm -hmm. it, it says, was it harder doing drama or acting against a turkey puppet voiced by Brian Pawson? <laughs> um, definitely a turkey puppet. You, they're just, you never know what to expect. You know, it's like working with a lion. <laughs> Completely. Um, one of the things that I think a lot of people don't realize is early in your career, uh, you worked on social network. You got to work with David Fincher. Um, yeah. And I wanted to know, what do you remember? What do you remember about making that film and getting to work with such a master early in your career? Yeah, that was a pretty um, amazing experience. I... I love David, I love him and I love his work, obviously. Um, and I would like to be able to work with him again that on a job that would last longer than a day. Um, but that was, it was amazing. It was, you know, working with him and um, uh, uh, what's his name? Aaron Sorkin, sorry. <laughs> um, the two of them have really specific ways of how you, how they work with their actors. And so combining both of the extremely tricky um, work ethics was, it was just fun. And like, you know, I'd be happy to do it again. Yeah, that film is incredible. Um, one of the things that I really admire about what you've been doing the last few years is you've been taking some really cool performances like Peanut Butter Falcon, Suspiria, um, uh, Bad Times, and, and now this. And uh, I'm curious, how have you been picking your roles or has it just purely been on the scripts that are like, like on the scripts that are available at that particular moment or have you been looking for particular projects? Um, uh, it's hard to to have like a real method of, I don't really know. It, I don't know how I pick and choose things. It's more just, you know, if the script is good and the character is good and if the people that are making it, the people involved are good people and um, talented people. I think that's mostly where my decision process lies is like, what is this experience gonna be like? And what is the story that I'm telling? and those are the kinds of things I, I think that those are the, the through line in all of the jobs that I choose. Uh, as I getting into uh, our friend, um, I really thought you did such great work in this. Um, and like I said, the film is so well done. Um, can you sort of talk about what was it like? Cause I'm not sure if you read the Esquire article. What was it like when you first heard this story? And what is it one of these things where you're like, I really want to make this. Yeah, I am. Um, I, I did read the Esquire article after I read the script and I thought it was just extremely human and um, beautiful and a sort of little tiny pocket of like real love and um, compassion. Uh, and those are the stories that are so important to be told, I think, especially in, you know, with the world the way it is now, you really want to feel like inspired by your fellow humans as opposed to completely heartbroken by them. So that is kind of what I what I felt about this movie was like, I want to know more people like like these people. Uh, you got to film in Fairhope, which is where this story took place. But it also, more than that, um, I believe when you were filming like the fountain sequence, you had the real people in the town coming out. And yeah. also you're performing in front of the actual people that this story is about. And as an actor, I'm curious, what is this like for you? Or what was it like for you when you have like Matthew possibly standing there watching you as Nicole? Yeah, yeah, that was pretty wild. Um, <sighs> I think the the more intense thing for me was that Nicole's daughters were there and um, they're in the fountain scene. And 
that was just um, something that I, I don't know that I can wrap my head around what they must have been feeling or what they, you know, how that experience was for them. I think we all felt extremely grateful for the opportunity to make the movie and that everyone, it was such a small town that everybody was like really embraceive of us and and they all knew what we were doing. They all knew who the real people were. They all knew them. Like if I went into the coffee shop, they they would be like, oh, you know, Nicole used to get this. Or It was like extremely bizarre, you know, but um, uh, intense and emotional and intimate and like not only a, a vulnerable role and and performance, but like a very vulnerable experience. It was just like, ex like extremely exposed. Obviously this deals with very serious subject matter, but I think one of the reasons the film works so well is Gabrielle puts in these moments of levity, like that scene where Jason is doing stand up in front of the curtain and you're watching him. Can you sort of talk about for people that might be like, I don't know if I can watch this movie. It's maybe gonna be too much of a downer for me. Yeah. Um, but there's a lot of levity in this and a lot of human moments. Yeah, I think that's that's part of why I loved it so much was that there is a lot of levity and and there's you know life is is heartbreaking and painful but it's also if you can have a if you can have that perspective you can feel a lot of relief from finding humor in the pain. Um, so that that was important and and it's it's very smartly written and and Jason is su obviously supremely funny and so is Casey and um, Jason and I had worked together on the five-year engagement with the turkey puppet um, <laughs> and we've been buddies since then so that's like 10 years of a relationship and um, and that I think informed the character's relationship as well. And like we could improv, improvise and riff with each other and play. And his stand up scene was actually one of my favorite moments in life so far. <laughs> oh, listen, I gotta go. I'm just gonna say again, congrats on this movie and your performance. Uh, I wish you nothing but the best. Thank you.